Hello YouTubers, fellow hams and 3D printing enthusiasts. Well, yesterday, um, Rick, KD9HUM, and I drove up to Goshen, Indiana for the Midwest Rep Rep Festival. It's an annual gathering of 3D printing hobbyists and enthusiasts and manufacturers. It's kind of the Dayton Hamvention of 3D printing. It's the biggest gathering in the world, and it's right here in Goshen, Indiana. Well, I'm in Fort Wayne, Indiana, but Goshen's just an hour and a half northeast or northwest of us. So anyway, I uh, took the cameras along. It's all handheld. A little warning for you guys that might get motion sickness. There's going to be a little bit of, you know, it's handheld. Uh, but anyway, let's go to the uh, festival, take a walk around and see what we saw there. Here we are. Morning. Last name? I have never seen so many 3D printers in one place in my whole life. Starts over there. All the way down there, and I think there's more around the corner. And look over there, R2D2. Let's check some stuff out. Now that's quite the print. Is that from Conan? Just to show you the size of this thing. Oh, there's 17, 713 Maker over here. Matter Hackers is here. It's really early. It's not even nine yet, so things aren't getting rolling yet. Sublime Layers. Oh, I see some good stuff. Oh, that's what I wanted to see. That goes all the way up to the ceiling. That extruder is massive. And that, in the middle of it, is a chair. A human-sized chair. We gotta get a closer look at this. Those counterweights, it's 11 pounds on each side, so that's 22 pounds of counterweight. And I think that's a four millimeter nozzle on the extruder and you can see a shop back up on top of it. Comes down to that 40 gallon drum there full of pellets. So it's sucking pellets up, melting them on demand to extrude out of a four millimeter nozzle. And it looks like he's got a failed print of a chair right there. And that bed has got to be four foot in diameter, maybe five foot in diameter. Massive. I gotta get some video of this guy running later on when they fire it up. I just saw Adam Savage's tested video where the guy that designed this was on it. Yeah, Ed Zarek? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did make the parts available, didn't he? Yeah, he did. And actually, the because Ed made two of them, he was starting to build mine, and he goes, hey, do you need a frame? Because I was going to print the frame, and he goes, well, oh, I've got the extra one from the tested video, so that's the one that's in here now. That's this one? Yeah. That's the extra one that he had in the tested video. Yeah, that's the I'm just narrating frame. for the... Yeah. Oh, wow. So when you watch the video and Adam's like playing with the little frame... That's... That was in parts and pieces. Yeah, that's... That's this one. Yeah. <laughs> well, very cool. Everything else I made on it, but the, the frame itself is... Cool. You got this running yet, or...? 
I've got it um, somewhat running. I just basically like a servo test run I can do. An eye from Wally. Yep, that's what I'm working on. The other this, one there. Is this your R2D2 over here too? Yep. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. I got to finish programming the servos and stuff. But... What's your name? Andrew. Andrew? Yep. Well, there you go. If you saw Adam Savage's video on the Weibo build, this is actually the test frame that was shown in the video. So this is a 3 to the power 27 gear reduction. Depending on what speed we have the motor running, it takes about 120,000 years for the final drive to spin around at one time. 120,000 years. 120,000 years. For that gear to turn once. Yes. Well, yeah, and it's GLA, so it will biodegrade long before then. That amount of string um, is really ambitious. Yes. Yeah. yeah. More than enough to hit. And your name? Uh, Daryl Morehouse. Daryl Morehouse. Thank you. Well, you can always go wider. The 3D printer equivalent of a widescreen TV is a widescreen printer. <laughs> stretch from the top to the bottom. Yeah, like you have to understand the box it came in was like a, it was like smaller than shoe box. Like I didn't order a shoe. There we go. Yeah, so it's it's three different colors so that when it actually comes out of the nozzle, since all the flow is laminar, there's no mixing, so you get the color showing up on different sides that's consistent throughout. Uh, it just it's really cool. It's Which a, produces this effect. Yeah. Yeah, this this model especially, man. If you had a little rotating disc, yeah, you could sit there and just rotate all day. Yeah, and everybody would go, "What the hell is going on?" What's this thing doing? It's 3D uh, printed glitter. I broke those last night. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Just did a recode here. Put another one. So it's pushing more powder along. So it's a good thing I exported your profile. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where are you ending up? Now we can go back. We're going to start doing this laser. We're going to start laser. We're going to start lasering. We have the sparkly people who have been to our booth. That's right. I'm going to go through these things plastic. Because you can just leave that. They'll be like, oh, that's cool. It's like that. Open the envelope. We just did four of the dots. I'm doing the little marble machine, but like 20% scale. So, very small. So now it's going to recoat. Does it drop down each time? Yes, this drops down 0.4 millimeters every time. So 0.4. It's layer height, basically. And then it just goes and recoats it. See, it makes it interesting. Which one of these is? And there's another layer, step by step. Yep. This one's pretty quick because it's so pretty. I think that is Joseph Prusa right there. Indeed it is. Hey, that's Joseph, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Can I talk to you for just a quick second? Just, just wanted to say hello. I have a small YouTube channel here. The old tech guy. I do ham radio and 3D printing videos, and I was hoping to see you out here today. I just wanted to ask you. I know you started this whole mess back in uh, 2010 or so with your yeah. recent handles. What do you think about where it's all gone? Well, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you probably don't get much of a rest these days. You probably get calls or interviews. And, yes, yes, you know? yes. I didn't get a chance to sit down since I came. Yeah. Yes. 
Well, it was nice to run into you. I won't keep you. I know you've got a lot to do. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. I've enjoyed the hobby myself since uh, I got my first cruise of Mandalorian. We will also be building in the SLA. I got the SLA Mandalorian Mini Pack Trophy. Thank you. 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 This Chuck from Filament Friday showing off his school racer. We're going to run it later. Joel will be filming. We may even get Jerry to ride it. That's a Jerry side. We'll really test it. He's going to sit out. I just ran into Joseph down there. Maybe he'll be your test pilot. There you go. And there's the 3D printing nerd himself. We'll see if we can get a chance to talk to him. He'll be posing for a lot of pictures today. <laughs> Been watching your channel for a while. Really? Yep. Thank you. Joel. Kevin, the old tech guy. I have a Kevin, YouTube channel, guy. mostly ham radio, but a little bit of 3D printing I'm getting into. Radio's cool, man. Oh, it's Never fun. got into it. I know... Uh, just, it was like one of those things where I had a CB radio as a kid. A I lot never, of hams yeah, started that never way. Never graduated to ham. I never got a license or anything. So. Well, my channel's mostly ham radio, but I've started doing a series on 3D printing for ham radio and more 3D printing videos and, and sort of expanding it out. And like you, it's my only income. How's that working out? So far, so good. Kids can see doctors when they're sick, and I can uh, still put food on the table. The, so. hours, are, the hours are great. <laughs> well way better than they used to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in a similar boat, similar boat. Well, keep it up, man. It's an enjoyable Thanks, channel. Uh, Nicely done. There we go. Hey. And I'll high five. All right, Bam. of course. We got to do that. Got to do it. Do I get a maker coin? Okay. Can I start out with a net? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.